This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. If you've been with us, you know that we are dedicated to the end-of-life care and the choices that people have at the end of life. We have been dedicated to having the bill, medic Medical Aid in Dying, pass the legislature. And so here we are now at the beginning of the session, and it is time to get ready to work at passing that bill and a lot of other bills. So with me today is a master at bill passing, <laughs> is Scott Foster, who has been on this journey of medical aid and dying for what, 20 years, 25 years? 25, yes. 25 years. Scott is the chair of the Kupuna Caucus for the Oahu County Democratic Party. No, it's state party. It's state it's party. Statewide organization. Uh, statewide. There's, <clears throat> there's counties, there's a lot of counties, and then there's the state. So, okay. We're the state. And you're the state. <laughs> okay, very good. So today, as you know, we last week was the opening of the legislature. So we're going to talk today about the legislature, what it, about the some of the bills that have already been proposed and how you the audience can participate how you can make this happen so scott aloha and welcome i am delighted to have you as always aloha marcia i'm delighted to be here as always so tell us tell us about let's start with the legislature what people need to know about the legislature well, <laughs> we need a two-hour show for that. Uh, the legislature uh, uh, convenes every year in January, and uh, uh, people think that that's it. It lasts till uh, May, I believe, and then it's over with, but it's not over with. It actually just starts over and, or, and keeps going. And uh, as you know, you and I have worked since the last <laughs> the two, uh, 2017 session uh, to get our bills back in a position to hopefully pass this year. The last session was exhilarating in that uh, our bills sailed through the Senate. I think there were only two no votes and then hit a roadblock in the House Health Committee and for various reasons that uh, would take another show to explain but nonetheless after that uh, uh, event, we immediately set to work uh, to position the bill for this session, which we've, uh, I think, done a great job of doing. No, no little thanks to your work. Well, uh, thank you, Scott. But there okay. are now two bills. Uh, when there's a, uh, the same bill is introduced in the House and the Senate, they're called uh, uh, companion bills. And in fact, I think there's four or five bills that have been introduced in the House and Senate uh, uh, just to be certain that we have a vehicle that keeps moving. So uh, uh, look for those bills to be announced. Could be this week. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Wednesday, could be today uh, or next week. There's a deadline, I've forgotten exactly what it is and that's coming up. So. Uh, a deadline. Nonetheless, uh, uh, we've, we've got the vehicles uh, and it's time for all the folks watching our show and uh, their friends and family to become involved. I'm, I'm, look, excuse, I'm looking for the calendar. It's in here someplace. That yeah. tells us when the, these deadlines are. Now, Let's, go while, ahead. Um, this little book is precious. It's free and it's in everybody's office at the state legislature and at the city council. Unlike any other state in the United States, every telephone 
is in here. Everybody's telephone number is in here. And email address. And email address room number, and room number. All of it. All of it is in here, and it's free. Now, the 2018 is not out yet, uh, so be but, patient. That'll, that'll be But the 2018 the is nobody changed office between 17 and 18. So there are only two new people, I think it is. Yes. And, and of course. It'll work for now until it, the new uh, one comes. Yeah. What, where is the calendar? It's in here somewhere. Don't keep talking while I'm I might point out, uh, uh, for, for people who have not actively involved in themselves before, uh, the, uh, you hear everyone griping and carping about uh, the way things are in Hawaii and the, the city, county, and state governments. Uh, and yet, uh, if you ask them, well, do you even know your legislator's name? Most people don't even know their senator or representative's name. Uh, they might know the council member's name, but it's a whole separate yeah. body, as you know. Uh, the city council is in session year-round, and uh, people might call them for garbage pickup or bulk pickup or dead animal on the street. But uh, the state is, is where the action is right now. Uh, not that the city council isn't busy, because they are. Uh, the reason I'm pointing this out is it, it's surprising to me to learn every day people don't know who they're griping about. And everybody seems to like their legislature but they don't like the legislature. Well, the legislature is made up of their representatives and many others. And of course, when the legislators go out fundraising and community events and, and all the outreach that they do, uh, you, don't always, you don't always get the reality of what's going on. Because uh, uh, frankly, many of them, especially this time of the year in an election year, they're more concerned about getting elected uh, than anything, re-elected than anything else. So that's why this little book is so handy. And uh, let's show it again yep. so you can see. This is a precious little thing, and like I said, it's free. It's in everybody's office, and so pick it up, city council as well as the legislature. Right, that's a place to start. Uh, here we might mention uh, the government website, and it's very easy to remember. It's hawaii.gov, hawaii.gov, and there you will see you, you can get information on every agency in the, in, the, in the state, but also the legislature, and there you can find out all sorts of information. Now it's free. You don't have to sign up to get information but you have to sign up to submit testimony. Well, let me add to that, that once you do get an account, because, you know, they ask you, I've had the same account every year for more years than I can count. It remembers you. Mm -hmm. And that is a good thing. Whether you testify or not, if you're researching whatever it is, once you have that account, which doesn't cost anything, you're there. Right. And you just push the button and say, I'm back, <laughs> you know. <Yes. laughs> and you can read other people's testimony. You can read the bill. Uh, anything that you need to know is there. So I agree with you that you need to do that. And about who is who, who's your legislator, where, what district do you live in? It will ask you, and then you put in your address, and it'll tell you boop, what, le what district you're in. Mm -hmm. Everything you need to know. So continue. <laughs> uh, once you've signed up, by the way, uh, it's very easy now. They've made it very simple to submit testimony. Now, in the case of the death with dignity uh, medical aid in dying legislation, uh, uh, as you know, uh, I'm also the uh, communications director for the Hawaii Death with Dignity Society. And anyone that goes to our website, and that's 
hawaiidwdsociety.org, uh, and Google brings it right up. Uh, we send out information immediately because once the hearing notice is, is we say dropped, but once the hearing notice goes out, uh, it uh, can be 48 hours, but when in the, the middle of the legislature, it's usually 24 hours. So you've got 24 hours to get your testimony in. Now, uh, what I'm telling people now is all you have to do is press the button, put the bill number in, and up pops the hearing notice and also a PUCA that tells, uh, that asks you if you want to submit testimony. Click on that and there's all these auto fields. Are you for or against a measure? Click or click, yes or no. Will you be there in person to give testimony? Yes or no. And then uh, new this year is a, is a big column that you can write as much as you want uh, within reason, probably 500 words, to tell your story about whatever issue you're, you're uh, 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 wanting to support or defeat. And uh, click send and that's it. Now, uh, basically all you have to do is say for or against and that counts as much as if you write 10 pages. Um, I was getting ready to say that. Uh, I worked in the city council for a long time. Not elected, but anyway, what I have come to know is that they count the yes and no's. Yes. They weigh. If you watch the clerk at the testimony when you go to the hearing, you will see the yeas and the nays stacked. And that's, you know, uh, it's just that simple. It's that simple. It's stick figures. Yes. Yeah. It is very simple, the yeas and the nays. And last session, there were 2,500 bills submitted. Needless to say, not every legislator reads all those bills. That's almost impossible. But they do have staff that read. And then the staff writes a summary. And then the summary goes to the legislator. And sometimes you can see them reading the summary just before the hearing. If you can think of the mountain of 2,500 bills. That's, that's just. On every issue imaginable. Every, many very, very complicated. Yes. And so while I like writing testimony, as you know, because I like to talk. Um, but be sure that you put yes or no. Even if you submit testimony, you must say that because that is the weight. And there's a lot of good arguments for and against every bill. So it's put it in, put in the testimony. It's a numbers game, yes. And honestly, the more you show up, part of success is always showing up. The two years that we worked on minimum wage, now I'm going to tell this, I wore the same jacket with the same flower and sat in the same seat for two years. So everybody knew, oh God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really have to deal with her? That was the way you make it known that you are here, that you are watching, that, you know, whatever your tactic is, be there, show up, let them know that you are watching. Get to know your legislator. You know, remind them, I pay your salary. Mm -hmm. Remind them, I pay your salary. I didn't ask you to vote, to run for that office. You asked me to vote for you, so here I am. <laughs> okay, you're mine. I own you. I worked, I walked for you. I donated to you. And people tend to be intimidated by elected officials, which is, is exactly how they like it. 
uh, uh, the fact of the matter is they're much more afraid of you, especially if you're active and vocal. Mm -hmm. And uh, th those of us, uh, I, try to, I try to hold my speechifying down uh, and stick to the point. But they do know that if, if they do something stupid or ill-advised, I will call them on it. Now, we need to take a break. We'll be back in just a bit, and then we'll go through the bills that we know are already there. Okay? Be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Freedom. Is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? At Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more, regardless of your ability. Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and defy gravity. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans of all abilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others. And in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their lives. Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. This is Prince Dykes, your host of the Prince of Investing, coming to you guys each and every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on Think Tech Hawaii. Don't forget to come by and check out some of the great information on stocks, investings, your money, all the other great stuff, and I'll be your one. And we're back. Today we are with Scott Foster, who I guess is, what can I say, an expert after <laughs> 25 years of dogging the legislature on getting the bills from step one all the way through to the end. So let's talk about the bills before the legislature that you have already written testimony that you have a feeling yes or no about. Where, where are we? I uh, testify, uh, write testimony and testify for the Kapuna Caucus. And the Kapuna Caucus is what a... What is a Kapuna Caucus? Uh, well, Kapuna is a rough def definition is uh, older and wiser. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> And uh, uh, it's not that we're any smarter, it's just that we've lived, I'm 76. I'll be 80 pretty soon. So we have... You're, you assume that you've gotten some wisdom in all those years. Yes, right? and yep. some understanding. And uh, uh, the, the caucus is, uh, uh, there are a number of caucuses within the Democratic Party, uh, seven I'm, I believe, uh, Hawaiian caucus, uh, health, uh, uh, Kapuna Caucus, Environmental Caucus, Labor Caucus, and, and all the rest. And that is people of like minds who are uh, uh, meeting together and determining what issues are common to them uh, and uh, working as a group. And the Kapuna Caucus does the same thing. And as, as the name might uh, signify, we work primarily on uh, senior and elder care issues, health care being a, a major concern given the state of health care in, in this country. Uh, uh, earlier this week, I well, two days ago, I wrote testimony for, I think, I think 16 bills. Oh, wow. And uh, uh, I did not write long, lengthy, bill, lengthy explanations uh, because uh, each one of those bills uh, has... Uh, uh, pretty wise people who are, are in charge, leading the charge on, on those bills. And what they're looking from me and the community is just the support, support. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so, uh, uh, and what are those bills? Well, one of the, one of the biggest issues this year is uh, why Hawaii's unlicensed elder care industry is out of control. And uh, uh, long story short, uh, licensed uh, care homes, uh, uh, which take care of many, many of our kapuna, uh, uh, even, even Medic Medicaid and Medicare patients, uh, it's very expensive. And uh, uh, what's happened the last few years is those licensed homes that are inspected uh, by uh, the health department and uh, uh, the uh, particular agency is led by a, 
a longtime friend of ours, John McDermott, who just does a great job with it. Uh, John discovered that a lot of homes are uh, opting out of being licensed and that they're renting, renting rooms uh, to seniors now, uh, and yet they still are rendering some care, whether it's medication and, or food, mm -hmm. uh, and they should be licensed and inspected. And that's been a really big contentious battle for several years, which will come to a head this year. I'm, I'm sure uh, they've been working with the, the uh, uh, Representative John Mizuno, the new chair of the Health and House Health and uh, uh, Human Services uh, uh, Committee, uh, worked with the Attorney General to get just the right language to get this bill passed. So there's, I'm going to say, at least 85 or more uh, uh, individuals and organizations involved, including the Kapuna Caucus of the State Legislature, oh. which is a different organization than our organization, which is a Democratic Party organization. So uh, the Kapuna Caucus of the Legislature is made up of legislators? No, is, no, it, no. It's, it's, uh, there's a House co-chair and a, and a uh, Senate co-chair. The, the people who are active represent various organizations, oh, okay. uh, Alzheimer's, uh, uh, MS, uh, the whole gamut mm -hmm. of diseases, kidney. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, when they meet, there's a room full, there's maybe a hundred people oh, involved in that. And they have real clout. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also many people from the administration who come to the Kapuna Caucus legislative caucus uh, to learn because mm -hmm. they know that that's where the hard questions will be asked. Well, now, I, I guess this, the state did not pass the federal guidelines for inspecting these homes statewide and the person from the health department said, which broke my heart, but he said that they only have nine inspectors for all of these islands. And, you know, I couldn't let pass this up. Why only nine and they all live on Oahu? Can't you hire people that live on these islands to do the inspection in order to meet the federal guidelines? And they hemmed and hawed of why they couldn't do that. I, it wasn't a, you know, satisfactory answer. But let's, let's, we're going to, Let's get to the rest of the bills before we run out of time. Well, uh, another bill that's particularly interesting and important to me is the, uh, uh, many of us have worked for years to try to get a single payer health care system. And uh, uh, it's fallen on deaf ears despite the uh, people nationally. Ralph Nader has been talking about single payer for a quarter of a century. Uh, Senator uh, Bernie, uh, that's one of the planks of his platform, is single payer. What is single payer? Uh, single payer takes the insurance industry out of the process so that, uh, 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 and, and the overhead that insurance company has in administering the funds. And the insurance companies are the ones that are determining what care and when and how much you get. Uh, never mind what the doctor has to say. Some doctors, uh, they accuse, or accuse them of over-prescribing and uh, uh, over-treating, or too many x-rays, too many MRIs. Well, there may be some abuse to the system. Of course, there always is. That's another reason we need more inspectors at the health department. But then you get into the problem of scarce resources where they're allocated, and many times a misunderstanding by the legislators who vote on the budgets of what that budget in a particular part department actually does. So uh, it, it's uh, getting all of that information to a legislator who is dealing with, as you said, thousands of bills. I heard this year it's 3,000, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Uh, 
But once the legislature gets rolling, it's like a machine. I mean, deadline, 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 deadline. And frankly, a lot of details get overlooked. Now, mercifully, once a bill is passed, such as the, the uh, medical aid and dying bill, uh, the next step, once the bill is passed, is rulemaking. Uh, a lot of legislators, and too many, I fear, uh, try to spell out every detail in a bill. And that's what happened to the medical aid and dying bill last year. They went so far into the weeds on the minutia and the details that should have been left to the rulemaking process, which is another open public process, hearings, fighting over every word to get it just right before the bill is, uh, the law is put into uh, uh, action. I, let's keep going because we're going to run out of time. Next bill. Okay. Well, I don't want to leave the the the, uh, the the bill we're trying to get passed this year is, is on the Hawaii Health Care Authority, mm -hmm. uh, which would be tasked with studying the Hawaii statutes, the federal statutes on health care, and coming up for hopefully the next session uh, a single payer bill that would work for Hawaii. It's very complicated. The health care laws drive you nuts just trying to understand it. Mm. Okay, next. Well, uh, next bill. Uh, so many of these are, are dealing with uh, issues that are important. Uh, many of them clarify former bills. Here's one, for example, requires the auditor to conduct an audit of each domestic violence nonprofit organization that has received state funding in the past years, five years. Well, what that's about is uh, there's myriad 501 nonprofit organizations out there, many getting state funds, many overlapping in in what the money's to be used for, and and many of them simply don't do anything. Oh boy! So, so that that uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, family court bill: position appropriation funds to assist in the review, certification, or recertification of dialysis centers and other health care facilities under the purview oh, oh, that's, of the Department of Health. That is so bad. Not well, inspecting dialysis, that is so bad. Well, you see, this is what we're dealing with, and I feel badly sometimes that I can't help with some of these yes. other ones, but there's only so much one can do. But that one, the Kidney Foundation ought to have everybody out on that one. Yes. Uh, here's another one, relating to the elderly. Elderly makes financial exploitation of an elder by a caregiver a Class A felony. Absolutely. As it, as it should be. Absolutely. I makes you wonder why it hasn't been. In the bill, uh, medical aid and dying, if you tamper with the person that is passing, it is a class A felony. Now, what we are at the end, we need you to go get the book, type in your uh, name and all at the state uh, gov.gov, Hawaii 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 gov. and every bill, all the hearings, everything you want to know will come up. And we'll see you next time.